what's up guys seven ounce the producer here just wanted to go over a quick update so machine 2.8 just came out and the latest update has sounds.com integration uh shout out to sounds.com and native instruments recently got a machine mark 3 in my home studio and you can see i already had the micro love it great for me sketching out ideas you go over here and you'll see like a bunch of different uh, genre based, artist based, things like that. There's a great one right here, Brian Michael Cox. Shout out to Brian Michael Cox, B Cox. I hope you remember me from the G Star days. Um, and it's as simple as this. So, you know, right now I have this account on just like a trial, and I have my other account that I already pay for because um, this is a different computer. So I, I, I run it differently. So here we go to see the collections. You have your download history. It shows you all the sounds that you've already downloaded. You can create a new collection. Just click that, name it. You can call this, you know, trapped up or whatever you want to do. And I just can go ahead and start browsing through other collections and start picking different pieces. And here's the great part. So let's say I decide, okay, yeah, I'm looking for some trappy stuff. Search for it right quick. Sure, Trap of God, that's cool. Okay, let's listen to this kick. All right, that jams. I say, all right, I wanna download this and it'll download it to my computer and that use the credit if you can tell. Or I could add it to this collection, which doesn't mean I purchased it yet. It doesn't mean that. It just means it's in that collection for me. It's kind of like a, a basket, right? Uh, or a little crate and what you're gonna want to do is you'll go to your account and if you go down here you have that enable download all to ni apps real simple even shows you so if i go back to my overview and i go to trapped up and if i go up to this tab right here all to ni apps okay what it's gonna do and that's like yeah okay what that's going to do is going to lead us to this. So it takes a minute. Give it a second. It depends on your internet, I'm sure. But if we switch it up and go over here to machine, I already have a little project open. And you have your, the update has your loops right here. If you go right here, boom. I already have the Brian Michael Cox collection right here. I have the RM Base collection right here. And that's pretty much what happens. It just goes into your sounds.com folder. Now, I did this with my other computer and that's why I have like m multiple accounts right now. And unfortunately, with the OS on my Mac, it is not picking up this folder for whatever reason. And I, it, I'm pretty sure it's in the native instruments shared, uh, but it's just not happening. So I had to manually do that. So I don't know if that's a glitch or it's just my operating system's that old. And I really don't like to update my Mac <laughs> for good reasons. And long story short, man, you go to your collection, boom, you know, there's Brian Michael Cox stuff. I want to add it to this, no problem. All the little samples, everything that I got is there. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's that easy. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, 7 producer at gmail.com, or hit me up right here, Dirty Tokyo as well, on the Instagram. That's the record label.